previously on Slug Street Scrappers. How can a run-of-the-mill kickboxer fight the way you do? You'd be surprised what a man can do when you uh, crush his boyhood dreams. I've lost. Join forces with me. What's in it for you? My long-awaited revenge. No one dumps Boss Peaches. No one! Not even Bruiser Bomb Bash. Bruiser? Why? You stay away from him! Also that girl, the one that doesn't speak. Do everything in your power to keep her mouth shut. Things will end up badly for you and I if our plans don't continue to go smoothly. Understood. Hmm. The culling may soon be at hand. What a little bit of my team fighting me and Dash is so kind of high feet. Drop kicking haters with their little ass pipe dreams. Man, I'm the icing on the cake. I'm taking nightly as I rise above the fans to stand up and hold in the mic. Bling! I gotta get to the top. My name is Bruiser Bomb Bash. I am the current toughest in town. But nobody starts at the top. And not everyone at the top had a desire to be there in the first place. Bruiser Bomb Bash. Where do you think you're going? By the way, how are you liking that shirt I got you? I freaking dig it. Score! Huh? Oh, nothing. Um, so are we still on for tonight? Heck yeah, baby. You ready to take another pounding? Bruiser! What? Oh, um, are we not talking about the same thing here? Playing some more Streets of Rage too, right? Yeah, Streets of Rage too. <sighs> Sounds good. I'll check you later on, man. Okay, love you. Back at you, Peachy. So, how are things? Lovely. Well, how long has it been? Six months. That's good. I'm three weeks, to... four days, 15 hours, 36 minutes, and three seconds, four seconds, five seconds. Okay, okay, I get it. Well, at any rate, you two make a pretty cute couple. And he's pretty handy in a fight. That's because he's so freaking manly and awesome. <laughs> right. He's only an enforcer rank and still has a long way to go until his skill is on the elite level, but. I see strong potential in him as a scrapper. The Bruiser doesn't seem at all interested in climbing the scrapper ranks. Seems like all he ever wants to do is play video games and train. Yeah, I know. I've tried teaching him some in sparring, but he never seems to take it seriously. I guess deep down he's just a gentle, sensitive soul. Uh, 
I don't think that's what it is. Speaking of sparring, how about you and I go a few rounds? Uh oh, <laughs> look at the time. <laughs> oh. See ya. Hey there, handsome. Well, if it isn't, then I'll. It's been a long time. <laughs> Last time I saw your mug, you were still training in Japan. That was, uh, two years ago. When did you get back? Not long after you did. I take it you're that, uh, anonymous scrapper who sent me the cryptic message about meeting up? That's right. We need to talk. How long have you been a scrapper? Long enough to know we're in over our heads. How so? I overheard my new master. Hold up. New? Master? Again? I heard about this guy on Slug Street that trained in a rare form of martial arts and I just couldn't pass it up. So then you finished all that mystical ninja training in Japan then? Kind of. Still Little Miss Fickle. Never mind that. There's something serious we need to discuss. Well make it snappy, sweet cheeks. I've got a date with my woman tonight. You're with Peach's powers, right? The boss of the Slugger Squad? The current toughest in town? Yup. How do you feel about her? Chick plays a mean game of Streets of Rage. No, I mean, how do you feel about her as a woman? I'm not a woman. As your woman? A freaking digger. I see. Yeah, she's awesome. But don't tell her I said that. I don't want her getting a big head about it. It's already big enough as it is. Then there's something you should hear. I think she may be in danger. We're scrappers. We're always in danger. Not like this. I think something horrible may happen to her. Would you quit being all cryptic and vague and just get to the point already? What makes you think she's in some kind of special danger? Not her specifically, but whoever holds the title, the toughest in town. Which right now is her, so answer my question already. I overheard my master talking to who I think was the revered one. The, the revered one? You serious? I was hiding around a corner so I didn't actually see him, but I'm pretty sure the person that my master was talking to was indeed the revered one. What makes you so sure? My master called him the revered one. Oh. Well, go on. The revered one said that whoever holds the title, the toughest in town at the time of transference, would suffer a fate far worse than death. You're positive that's what he said. Look, I don't know exactly what's going on or what exactly his motives are, but I do know that what the revered one has planned is going to be very, very bad for all of us. So what can we do? As far as the revered one is concerned, there's nothing we can do at the moment. I'll need more time to find out what's really going on, and the stealth training I received in Japan should help with that. But in the meantime, you have got to deal with Peaches. Why can't we just tell her the truth? Because we don't know the truth just yet. This is dangerous territory we've wandered into. I think the less anyone knows, the safer it will be for all of the Slug Street scrappers. So then what do you suggest I do? You've got to somehow convince Peaches to give up her title. You obviously don't know Peaches. She's stubborn and full of pride and there's no way she would ever just give up her title. It means everything to her. If you want to protect Peaches, you have two choices. Either convince her to give up the title or find a scrapper that's tough enough to take it from her. I may know a scrapper who's skilled enough to defeat her. But that still leaves the scrapper who defeats her in the same kind of danger. True, but it's better them than the girl you care about, isn't it? Either way, it's up to you. So what are you gonna do now? 
I'm going to continue as normal and try to gather as much information as I can. Opportunities are scarce, and I must be cautious. So it might take some time. Good luck. None of the scrappers are aware that we know each other. If we cross paths in the future, I think it's best if we act as if we've never met. I don't want the revered one or my master thinking that I'm the one passing the information. Understood. When I learn the truth of the revered one's plans, I'll find a way to contact you. Until then... He's up! He's up! Uh, is there a problem? What? No. He's up! Because it uh, looks like you're having some trouble there. This vanishing thing never works when you want it. You're, uh, you're still there, aren't you? <sighs> yes. And now I'm stuck. You see, this is why it's important to finish your previous training before moving on to a new master. Shut up. Pops in his house! Biatch! Aww. Does your face miss my fist again? No. The only thing my face is missing is my title of toughest in town. Mm. Go away, Fluffy. I am busy right now. Come back later. Or not. Busy with what? Man, you ain't doing nothing but just playing with your nails. I am mentally preparing myself. Clearly something you wouldn't understand. Man, you're going out with that bruiser fool again, aren't you? Shut your hole, Fluffy. Bruiser is not a fool. What do you see in that shorty anyway? What did you just say? He is not short. He's... travel-sized. Well, his boy sounds like a boyish robot character from, like, anime or something like that. How dare you! Bruiser is... confident. He's powerful. And he's a ridiculously sexy man-beast. And anyone who says otherwise is just jealous. So what you really mean is that he's cocky, he's pint-sized, and he's awkward. And he's really awkward. Have you seen it? Oh, that's it! No one insults my bruiser and gets away with it. Take it back right now! Girl, you freaking crazy. The only thing I'm taking back is my title. I'm gonna punch that stupid perm off your head! Show you something that's about my perm!
Peaches. You here? Brother! There you are. You're late. You know you love it. <laughs> so, uh, you ready to go a few rounds? I get to be Axel. Actually, uh, now's not the best time for that. Okay, fine. You can be Axel again. How about we, uh, talk for a bit? Talk? Really? Yeah. Okay. So what do you want to talk about? I, uh, I need to ask you something. Okay. Yeah, you're probably not gonna like it. Oh, um, I, I guess we could try that. What? No! It's about your title. What about my title? How, uh, important is it to you? What do you mean, how important is it to me? You know this already. What's wrong? Peaches, do you trust me? Of course I trust you. I love you. Then there's something I need you to do for me. Okay, sure. I need you to give up your title as toughest in town. <laughs> sure. I'll give up my title. Peaches, I need you to give up your title. You're serious? Yes. What? Okay. No way! I'm not gonna give up my title! What is, what is wrong with you? Did you not hear a word I just said to you? I did. And I still need you to give up your title. Bruiser, just stop it, okay? This isn't funny anymore. It's not a joke. It never was. It's very important that you give up your title. Why? Why? What could possibly be so important? At least you owe me that much. I can't tell you. I'm asking you to trust me. I do trust you, but I can't just give my title away, okay? <sighs> now let's just pretend this conversation never happened and get back to spending some time together. I can't change your mind. No. I understand. Peach's powers. I am officially challenging you for the title of toughest in town. Very funny, bruiser. You... You actually want to challenge me for my title? Do you accept? What? No! I'm not gonna fight you! The Revered One's rules state that all challenges must be accepted. Otherwise, victory goes to the challenger. So you really want to do this? I have no choice. This is pointless. You know you don't stand a chance against me. God, you couldn't even keep up in sparring. And even then, I was holding back. Fine. If you really want to fight so badly, I'll give it to you. Just once this is all out of your system, we can resume our date. And after that, I never want to hear another word about this.
You aren't the only one holding back. You? Are holding back? Why? Why the lies? I held back on you because I cared about you and you knew that. But you? Did you see me as weak? As some joke of a fighter that should be pitied and patronized? That's not it. Then why? Why? Answer me! Fine. You want my title? Just take it. Peaches, right? Don't touch me! Peaches. Can't you hear me? I hate you! Just get away from me! Get out of here now! Bruiser, wait! Wait! I think maybe it's better this way. <laughs>